Here's a video I thought would be helpful to someone who emailed me. They wanted to have a stairway go from their bedroom into another room and they were wondering about the doors and how in the heck you can make them work. Now, this video is for interior doors and would not apply to egress or exterior doors. Keep that in mind. And some of the information in this video would need to be verified by your local building department. I, I looked all over the code books, the international and the residential building code books, and couldn't find much information on this and realize that um, this is something that isn't common. You don't see. So you might not actually be able to do some of the things I'm going to suggest, but I'd like to point out some of the problems you're going to run into. Number one, if you put a wall with a door in it next to the base of a stairway, you're not going to meet the, you're not going to have the headroom clearance. Most doors are 80 inches, six foot eight. And this is what the minimum headroom height is from the top of the nosing on the stair tread to the bottom of the doorway or the door jam, just to keep that in mind. So this is actually going to need to move back. I'm just going to flip through here, give you an idea of what we're looking at, and then go on to the next section. This should give you a better idea. The wall would need to move back. And the best way to figure out where you would need to put the wall, what the minimum distance would be, would be to place a straight edge on top of the stairway after it's built. Um, and again, you could always uh, figure this with, with math, I guess. You could move it the distance of the stair tread. This right here, if you just went, if you have an 11-inch stair tread, just move this out 11 inches. With a straight edge, I probably put that in for some theatrics there. What can I say? So you can actually just move it the base of the... Uh, move at the distance of the stair tread and you'd be okay. Straight edge will provide you with another way to um, figure that. But again, you might need to position the wall before the stairway is built or while you're doing, um, while you're designing the project. So that's two ways to do it. In this example, the wall is moved back, but this doorway opens into the stairway, and that is a no-no. You are not allowed to have a door open into or over a set of stairs. So this, in this particular example, this is something you would not be allowed to do. This would probably be okay. This wouldn't. This is what they mean by in most building codes when they refer to a stairway and a door and they say that the door cannot swing over the stairs. Here's something that probably would be acceptable. The wall moved over with the doorway opening out and this doorway opening in. And when I say probably, some of the exterior stairway building codes do not allow this. I actually found a building code that suggested that you could not do this on an exterior stairway. You, you couldn't, and I see this a lot. You'll see it at um, in uh, mobile home parks. You'll see it in certain, I've seen a lot of buildings on the outside. You'll have a set of stairs that goes up to a door without a landing. As long as the door opens in, it's okay. I have seen building codes that allow this. And of course, I found one today that would require you to have a landing. Uh, um, and this landing would need to be three foot by three foot. So just throwing that out there. Now, that this does not affect interior doors. However, like I said in the beginning of the video, you would need to verify the information I'm sharing with you with your local building authorities because it all depends on how they interpret the building code or something that they do or do not allow. Here's another suggestion that might work better just to use one door instead of uh, two doors. And the reason why I'm suggesting that is because you could actually make the opening a little wider at either the bottom or the top. Um, you know, if you have a three foot wide stairway, you could you could get a three foot opening 
use a three foot opening and of course adjust the um, height too if you wanted to move the wall over closer to the stairway because if you think about it this if you had a situation like this that's a lot of wasted space where if you could move the wall over to the stairway without a door you could actually raise the headroom height to work so instead of having a regular door open you could simply raise this all the way to the top or raise it to the desired height to make it work I believe this is probably the best option for something like this the door at the bottom you can open it on the bottom go up uh, this isn't a case where you're going to be opening a door up here and fall down the stairways if you open the door whether while you're walking down the stairway and you trip you're not going to go very far if you're opening the door at the top and you trip you could roll down the stairway so this would I, I think would be something that might be a little safer and the by not having a door at the top you have an unobstructed pathway into the next floor which of course would be ideal I don't think you would have a problem with a situation like this if you didn't have any doors at all and just two openings with a stairway going up but I think if you are going to put a door in in a situation like this it's probably going to be better to have the door at the bottom for the reasons like I said you know you have a, an unobstructed path to the top if you're walking up a stairway like this with some groceries or your your hands are full and you need to open the door it's going to be a little difficult here's something you're walking you can open the door I mean your, your hands are full you're gonna have the same problem but if you slip and fall with your hands full you're gonna fall on the floor here you slip and fall up here there's a good chance you're gonna roll down the stairs into the room and uh, of course that would increase your the risk of um, getting injured so anyway I think that's about all I have to say about interior doors and stairways I would like to see a landing at each stairway that would be nice to see one at the top and the bottom and remember I do not know if something like this will be approved by your building department these are only suggestions that I'm making um, and I looked at the code book and I couldn't find uh, a lot of information on interior doors and this is actually a situation you don't run across um, very often